Hey everyone, uh, today I wanted to show my gamepad profile for StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 doesn't have controller support, so the only way to use a controller in it is through a mouse and keyboard emulator. I'm currently using Antimicro, but I'm sure you can replicate this profile on XPadder or Steam's own controller customization. I'll be offering links to Antimicro as well as my profile in the description below. But getting into it, um, I haven't changed any of the default binds in StarCraft except for switching to a grid layout. This makes it so I only need 15 uh, hotkeys for the commands. I'll be getting that to in a bit, that does make things easier. Um, as you can see, I have the right stick bound to the cursor. The left stick is bound to the camera. The right trigger selects units. The right bumper is your smart commands. The Y button is warp in, not applicable here. B is escape, mostly uh, useful for getting out of menus. The A button is your last alert location. I don't have any of these yet, but that's where it's bound. The start button is obviously the pause menu. Um, back cycles through your subgroups and shift allows you to go backwards. Control is bound to the left trigger. Shift is up on the D-pad. Alt is right on the D-pad. And uh, clicking the right stick in centers on whatever you have currently selected. Oops. So these are all the basic controls in this base set. The rest are handled through different sets or modifiers. Uh, the most basic of which is the camera modifier. So when I click the left stick in, it stops moving the camera and instead rotates it and zooms in and zooms out. Uh, additionally, the left trigger no longer is bound to control, but instead is bound to the middle mouse wheel and lets me um, use the drag camera. The rest of the inputs are identical to the base set with the exception of uh, it doesn't have or ha access to the modifiers. So getting back to the base set, I just click it again and you're in the base set again with the normal camera controls. Getting into the real meat, I'll grab uh, SCV. Um, for the commands, all of these are accessed through holding the left bumper. So while I hold the left bumper, the right stick stops controlling the cursor and becomes a selector for an eight-way radio wheel that corresponds to this grid of um, three by three uh, commands. So for example, if I wanted to build a structure, I would hold left bumper and point down left with the right stick to access the build options. If I want to build a refinery, I just point the right stick up and now I have a refinery. If I want to build a supply depot, top right and now I have a supply depot. To access this middle one, uh, the engineering bay, I just click the stick in and I have an engineering bay. So this takes care of nine of the commands. To get to the last six, I have this bound to X, Y, right bumper, A, B, and right trigger. So if I want to attack, left bumper, right trigger, and attack. I want to patrol, left bumper, right bumper, patrol. Since um, everything from the base set carries over, with, that, with the exceptions of uh, what I'm changing in these individual sets, um, control, shift, and alt carry over. So for shift, I can uh, queue up actions. So if I wanted to make multiple supply depots in a row, I can just press up when selecting it and make supply depots or any other structure uh, or queue up any building like that. Um, alt mainly accesses the um, Alt and C, so I'm not in multiplayer, but that would uh, allow you to access AI commands. And to access those, I would just press uh, left bumper, right, and down and right, uh, which is C right here. And that would pop up all your AI commands. 
and accessing those functions identical to here. It just follows the same grid layout. And since you have access to control, you can use your top bar abilities directly as well. Uh, you can also access these guys through the same thing. So if I wanted to change the terrain, I just use that, just like that. Uh, moving on, uh, for control groups, that all the selection stuff is bound to down on the D-pad. So when I do that, again, the right stick becomes a radial wheel, and radio, or numbers 1 through 8. I haven't bound 9 and 10. There are room. There is room to bind that, but I don't use that many uh, control groups. But uh, getting on with it, if I wanted to create a control group, uh, control carries over, and I would just press the stick in a direction and create a control group for that direction. So if that's control group 1, if I wanted to create this control group 2, and control group 3, and so on. Since I can't really access Shift and Alt well um, while holding down on the D-pad, I've moved them over in this set to um, right trigger and right bumper. So uh, right trigger is Shift, right bumper is Alt. So if I wanted to add um, this SCV to the um, larger forces, I would just hold down the right trigger and press up and now he's in the first control group. If I wanted to recreate control group 1 and remove from other sets using Alt, I can do that just like that. And if I wanted to add this guy into this control group and remove him from control group 2, I could just um, use these both in combination and do that. So uh, combo inputs are still completely accessible just like that. Uh, this set, also while holding down, uh, you can select idle workers by pressing X. And if you have multiple, you can use Control and X to do that. A down and Y selects your entire army. Down and B shows the health bars of everything. Uh, your own units, allied units, and uh, enemy units. Lastly, the while holding down, the left stick is also a radio wheel, and this corresponds to uh, the hero units. Not applicable here, but I have hero unit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Um, by default, the hero units kind of overlap the location units, which make them kind of, or the location binds, which make it kind of redundant, but I have them bound here just as um, trying to be complete. But moving on to locations, locations are handled in the same exact way control groups are. So I have locations bound to left on the D-pad. So while holding left, you can use control and a direction, and I just save location 1, so that's location 1 now. If I want this to be location 2, location 2, and location 3, and so on. Um, left and Y is your base camera. That takes you straight there. You can cycle through if you have multiple bases. Lastly, we have uh, the inventory. It's not applicable here, but while holding X, the left stick is an 8-way radio wheel. corresponds to the slots in your inventory, and you can use Alt to um, use your pickup slots. And that pretty much covers it. I didn't bind the chat commands because you'll be using a keyboard for that anyway to use those and some of the observer commands and all that. I've left them bound as well as uh, replays. But as far as general gameplay I think I've covered everything. Uh, someone might find something I'm missing but we have direct access to all of your uh, commands. You can set up control groups, you can set up your locations and uh, access um, some miscellaneous functions such as uh, camera following and that kind of junk. So if you uh, if you're one of the few people that actually want to play StarCraft 2 with a controller, hopefully this is helpful to you. If not, hopefully it was at least entertaining. Um, and yeah, so uh, links will be in the description if you want to use my stuff or if you want to just use these kind of methods to uh, 
create your own kind of profiles. But thanks for watching, and everyone, have a good rest of your day.